Here I am cutting the cedar picket fences down to 48 inches and make your line from the flat side so that you're leaving the dog ear on the end. These are 48 inches. Now we're going to take the shorter side and cut the dog ear off. Um, the length measurement is 23 inches but it leaves minimal to no waste from that cedar picket fence. That's why this uh, plan is so great. Here we're cutting the Douglas fir post down to 11 inches. These will make up our corners. When securing these you want the 48 inch side to hang out about a quarter of an inch just enough to cover the end grain on the 23 inch piece. It just it makes it look better. We're securing each picket fence piece with two exterior screws. You want to use exterior screws so they don't rust or um, deteriorate over time. Same reason we chose the cedar and the Douglas fir. It's naturally rot resistant and then you won't have the pressure treated type woods leaching into your vegetables or your flowers or um, giving off chemicals over time. Good thing about these 4x4 posts is you can you can change the height of where you fasten the picket uh, pieces to and it makes the garden look level um, if your yard slopes and you can just adjust that as you need. It's very simple, um, just two screws per post and you kind of just throw a level up there and see how your yard's sloping and then if you step back and you look at it, it'll look level. And that's what I'm doing here, I'm adjusting the dirt under the under the wood and I'm kind of seeing how the yard slopes and I'm adjusting where I fasten the side pieces to the 4x4 to give it a more level look. That also helps with watering because um, if, if your soil is more level uh, it won't pull in one section of the bed. When you're done you can just throw a piece of cardboard down in there before you put your soil in. I didn't do that but uh, if you want if you want to um, prevent some weeds that'll, that'll certainly do it. Each bed takes around seven cubic feet of soil. Here's a picture of my current uh, beds that I made. The great thing about these beds is they're very inexpensive. Around $35 to $40, maybe $50 including the soil and the screws. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment.